Hello everyone and welcome back to English by Nisa. In this video we are going to discuss degree semester 6th English textbook exercises. The topic is grammar relative clauses. Relative clauses video I have already uploaded in detail. You can go through the playlist or the link I am providing under the description box of this video and also above on the i button. You must watch that video. So relative clauses are nothing but these are the relative pronouns or relative adverbs which shows a relation with noun or pronoun. Like relative pronouns are who, whom, whose, which and that. And relative adverbs are where, why and when. These all shows relation with noun or pronoun. So you must watch that video. In this video we are discussing only textbook exercises which you have in your textbook. So let's start doing the first exercise. So here read the following sentences which contain a relative clause. They are all from the full speech of J.K. Rowling. Underline the relative pronouns or adverbs. And then the nouns they replace. The first one has been done for you. So what you need to do. First of all you need to find out a relative pronoun or relative adverb in the given sentence. Then you need to identify this relative pronoun is replaced by which noun and pronoun. Means is it showing the relation with which noun or pronoun. Let's start doing the first one. I saw photographs of those. I saw photographs of those who had disappeared without trace. So here first of all find out relative pronoun and relative adverb. Here we have who which is a relative pronoun. Who means we are talking about person which is replaced by those. The second one. The friends with whom I sat on graduation day have been my friends for life. So here we first of all find out the relative pronoun here whom. And this home is replaced by what? Friends. Next one. Ordinary people whose personal well-being and security are assured join together in huge number to save people they do not know and will never meet. So here we have relative pronoun whose and it is replaced by ordinary people. One of the many things I learned at the end of the classic corridor down which I ventured at the age of 18. So here first of all find out the relative pronoun or relative adverb. Here we have which which it is replaced by classic corridor. Next one, at your age, in spite of dynastic lack of motivation at university, where I had spent far too long in the coffee bar writing, in the coffee bar writing stories, and far too little time at lecture, I had knack passing examination. Here, first of all, find out the relative adverb or relative pronoun. Here we have relative adverb where which is replaced by university where we use with places so university is a place now the next one is i read hazily scribbled letters smuggled out of totalitarian regime by men and women who were risking imprisonment to inform the outside world of what was happening to them first of all find out the relative pronoun or relative adverb here we have who which is replaced by men and women this man whose life had been shattered by cruelty took my hand with exquisite courtesy and wished me future happiness. Here whose is a relative pronoun which is replaced by this noun, this man. They are my children's God's parents, the people to whom I have been able to turn in time of trouble. Here we have whom which is replaced by the noun, the people. I shall never forget the African torture victim, a young man no older than I was at the time, who had become mentally ill after all he had endured in his homeland. So here we have who, which is replaced by a young man. I have one last hope for you, which is something that I have, that I already had at 21. So here we, here we have relative pronoun which, which is replaced by hope. So this is very simple. First of all, you need to find out the relative pronoun or relative adverb. Then you need to find out this relative pronoun or relative adverb is replaced by which noun. I mean these are showing the relation with which noun or pronoun. Now let's see the second exercise. What you need to do in the second exercise? You need to fill the blanks with appropriate relative pronouns. Either who, whom, whose or which. Now let's start the first one. In the conference I met a polyglot dash new 13 languages. Now here in previous video I have explained in detail that when we need to take relative pronouns and which relative pronouns and when we need to take relative adverbs. So here we are talking about a person. Polyglot means a person. Means who know many languages. So here we are talking about a human being and which is a subject. So that's why we need to take who. Who knew many languages. 
we cannot take which or whose or whom here next one he never finds shoes that fit him well so here we are talking about the shoes so shoes means which is a non living thing that's why we need to take which here which next one why do you always ask question dash are too complicated now again question which is antecedent now antecedents should be as close to as this relative pronoun or adverbs so here we are talking about the questions so that's why again you need to take which here here i have written answers in the conference i met a polyglot polyglot is a person who knew many language who know many languages so here we are talking about the person that's why we have taken who shoes which is a non living thing that's why we have taken which why do you always ask question questions again here it is a thing that's why we have taken which now people who are participating in the competition have to write a story now here we are talking about people that's why we have taken who because people are human you are exactly the person whom i wish to see now here we need to take objective pronoun the person here we are talking about human again whom i wish to see next one meet the proud mother whose daughter here whose we can take with the possession because here we are talking about mother's daughter so instead of apostrophe we need to take whose daughter mother whose daughter so here we are talking about mother what did you do with the money which i gave you yesterday here we are talking about money which is a non living thing that's why we have taken which at atheist an atheist is a person who does not believe in god here we are talking about an atheist a person that's why we have taken who i don't remember the name of the man i spoke to yesterday now here again we are talking about a man that's why we have taken whom which is a objective pronoun only children whose parents are li literate study in this school here we are talking about the children's possession means children's parents children's parents instead of children's parents about instead of apostrophe we are taking whose in the third exercise again you need to add a suitable adverb or suitable pronoun in the given space who whose when where or why here we have relative adverb as well in this bit do you know a restaurant we got we get good samosas now here we are talking about the restaurant which is a place so with place we need to take where which is a relative adverb next one a dentist is a person dash is qualified to treat disease that affected the teeth and gums so here we are talking about a person which is a dentist that's why a dentist is a person who is qualified let me write answers so here i have written answers do you know the restaurant do you know a restaurant where we get good samosas here we are talking about restaurant that's why we have taken where here we are talking about a person that's why we have taken who 1950 was the year when india became a republic here we are talking about time period uh, it could be month week day or year so here we are talking about year that's why we have taken when i still don't know the reason why i was punished so all reasons we need to take why have you seen the artist dash paintings are extremely thought provoking here we are talking about artist paintings so instead of apostrophe s we for possession we need to use whose in relative clauses the next exercise fourth exercise is combine the two sentences using who whose which that where or when this is bit this all bits you'll get in exam definitely so here what you need to do you need to use any one of the word to combine this word suitable word you need to take you cannot take any word now here you borrowed a novel from the library have you read it now here we are talking about a non living thing which is a novel so what we need to take here we need to take which which you borrowed from the library so let me write answers again so here i have written answers met a dancer who knows you dancer that's why we have taken who who knows you we stayed at a hotel where we met an animal right activists why i have taken where because we are talking about a place which is a hotel she works in a company where its work ethics is very good company which is a place that's why we have taken where again i still remember the day when our first pet came home now here we are talking about a day that's why we have taken when because it's showing time
Now the fifth exercise is correct the following sentences. This bit also you will get in your exam where they will give you wrong relative pronouns or relative adverbs. Then you need to correct those things. The hill station which we spent our vacation was very beautiful. Hill station that means it is a place. With places we need to take where not which. Do you know the name of the river who flows through the city? Who and whom we take with humans? River is not a human so that's why we need to take which not who. The people which work in the stadium are very friendly. People, it's not a non-living thing. So people are humans, we need to take who. What you have to do in your exam, you need to write, rewrite this whole sentence in your answer booklet. You cannot write only this relative pronoun or relative adverb. Whole sentence you need to rewrite. Next one, that was the year where severe losses were incurred. Now here we are talking about a year, that means a time. We need to take when, not where. A soda maker is a machine who makes soda. We are talking about non-living thing which is a machine, which we need to take here. Let me write answers. So here I have written answers. The hill station, which is a place, that's why I have taken where. Do you know the name of the river which flows through the city? River which is a non-living thing. That's why I have taken which. The people who work in the stadium are friendly. People who? Because it is a human. That was the that was the year when severe losses were incurred. Year, time. That's why when. Soda maker is a machine. Machine is a non-living. That's why we have taken which. Is that the man who is author of the bestseller? Man. That's why who? She recommended a book, the title of which I have forgotten. Title, that's why which. There are three brothers, all of whom are graduates. So here, whom, we are talking about the brothers. You can pause the video, you can take a screenshot of this. That is the film which I saw when I was in a college. Now here, film and which. Because film is a non-living thing, that's why we have taken which. Is she the one whose mother is a famous dancer? Now here whose mother means she's mother, her mother. So that's why she, her mother. Instead of her mother, we are taking relative pronoun whose. So, so this is all for today's video relative clauses. I hope it would be helpful for you. Stay tuned for more videos of your test book exercises, po prose and poems. You have a separate playlist. You can go through the playlist to find out your all lessons and grammar topics. So stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.